It's hoped that big sales will be made throughout this event, and the art world's digital acceleration is changing not just how artists create their work, but arguably, more importantly, how they monetize it as well. As well as displaying their work, artists are taking advantage of the opportunity to learn more about the world of NFTs. The Bybit talk series was set up to increase understanding around blockchain technology. One of the speakers is Dima abdul Kader, co-founder of Emerge East, an online art gallery for Middle Eastern and North African artists and new generation collectors. We started Emerge East to break down the barriers to art collecting, to facilitate um, what it means to own art and experience art for the new generation of art collectors because you know, usually they might feel intimidated to go into a gallery in a physical space and ask what the price is or what that means. Um, but we wanted to advocate that anyone can get art if you just educate um, yourself, read, browse, comfortably go through a website um, and ask us questions as well to guide them through the process. 2014, it was quite challenging because we were in the Middle East and it was a very foreign concept to buy art online. Obviously, enter the pandemic, that made things um, just shoot up and skyrocket because everyone was at home, locked up, felt even more comfortable and they didn't have a choice at this point. That, you know, going physically somewhere wasn't even a choice and you were forced to actually think, okay, I can do this now. Dima is keen to impart her knowledge to other creatives at what she thinks is a pivotal moment for the art world. We will be speaking about the transition from Web 2 to Web 3 um, and that passage right now that we're in, which is a once in a generation um, event actually, you know, think back the 90s, early, mid, late 90s when people were moving to the internet and there was so much skepticism, we're there right now um, and we're talking about how artists uh, and, you know, uh, industries in the physical world are moving into the metaverse and Web3. I think one of the biggest misconceptions uh, for artists is that they, it would be hard for them to enter the space. but. This is what we're trying to do as a gallery, is actually break that down and, and, and educate, not just artists, but collectors as well, that um, it's, this technology makes it easier for so many more artists to enter this space. It's actually much more efficient to onboard. Um, it's much more efficient to get your uh, funds after you make a sale. And not only that, but after you make one sale, um, you, and then it gets sold on the secondary market, you actually get royalties permanently for life, so there is a permanent passive income for artists. One of the artists keen to learn more about how to utilize Web3 is Aisha Juma, who despite predominantly specializing in sculpture and painting, is showcasing NFTs for the very first time. I started lately uh, practicing digital painting. Uh, that was out of my uh, drawings. I wanted to paint them simply. And of course, the digital tool was uh, very convenient for us. So I started generating a lot of uh, digital paintings, and I honestly did not know about the NFT or anything that is happening about that digital art. Uh, until someone uh, saw my digital uh, paintings and they told me this is NFT. And then that term itself was very new to me, so I started researching, I met with uh, advisors and curators and I just did my research and they invited me actually to come into uh, exhibitions and to come into the NFT world. Uh, so here I am and all that happened like in the past four months only. So I was hesitating in the beginning to, to, to embrace this but then uh, I had no choice because I have been doing a lot of uh, digital painting and that was the only actually uh, platform where I can share my, uh, my new kind of artwork. Uh, so it was very good, everything just unfold. I know that uh, I need to learn a lot, uh, not just artistically but technically. Uh, even I, I know that I need to learn how to upload my uh, my artwork online and I'm not the only new one. <laughs> I think most of us are new to this and we really need to hear from the experts and we also need to hear from artists who have been doing this for a while. I think uh, it's, it's, it's a must, it's a very good venue to understand where I'm going and how to use it uh, positively to, to explore my own uh, artwork. 
as Web3 becomes more prevalent in the art space, fairs like this play a crucial role in supporting artists as they navigate this new era. It's very important for a fair like Art Dubai, specifically because it is um, now including digital art as a formal uh, medium. Um, and this is showing artists that they can now be validated as artists in their medium and that they can also be participating in a fair, in an exhibition, and their works you know, move on to a museum if they enter the fair like this. So actually Art Dubai has done a great job. It's their responsibility um, as an institution to open these doors as well, in parallel with what the technology of blockchain is doing.